Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and behind me is the new Chalmers Street entrance to Central Station. It's October 2022 and I'm going to give you a brief update on all the work that is happening here at the moment. This was filmed on the 16th of October and all the hoardings had gone to reveal this new station entrance. This lift shaft structure will contain two lifts that will take passengers to Central Walk below. To the right of the lift structure are the stairs leading up to the other entrance on Randall Lane. The area to the left of the lift structure is where the three escalators will go. These three escalators will go to a lower level, where three further escalators running in the opposite direction will take passengers down to Central Walk. In the ceiling will be an extensive cable management system. Beige or sandstone coloured panels are currently going up on the walls on either side. These are the same colours as the ones you'll see shortly for Central Walk. I returned later in the day and black hoardings had appeared. I hope they don't go any higher. Now on the Randall Lane side, and this is how it's looked on the 1st of October. You can see glimpses of the top of the new lift shaft structure. And a closer view of the extensive cable management system within the ceiling. This black fence is where the Randall Lane station entrance will be. And peering through this fence, you can see a little more of the lift shaft structure. The stairs to access the lifts and escalators will be here. Central Walk has come a long way since my last update, so let's take a look at this from the Eastern Suburbs Concourse. Now this may not look like it to you, but these stairs and this passageway are a teeny weeny part of Central Walk that has just been opened up. The original stairs and the lift that opened in 2021 are to the right of these stairs. And I've spotted a gap in the hoardings. The natural light over on the right is coming from the new Chalmers Street entrance. And here is the bottom of the lift shaft structure. The lower three escalators will be to the left of this. And this looks like one of the supporting columns that you saw earlier from Chalmers Street. This gives you a sense of how wide this part of Central Walk will be. The current passageway is on the other side of this hoarding. Over on the left are new train information displays. These will be directly facing passengers that have come down from the new Chalmers Street entrance. And now on the left is the new Central Walk Tunnel entrance, with the same colour panels as the Chalmers Street entrance walls. Let's take a look. The entrances on the left lead to the escalators that will go up to the south ends of platforms 16 to 23. Notice the train information displays for each platform. Straight ahead is a temporary passageway that will lead to the Northern Concourse. This passageway is within the new Metro Concourse. And on the right are the four lifts for platforms 16 to 23. The Central Walk Tunnel will be over twice this size. The white boards on the right are currently covering up the remaining part of this tunnel. Now continuing, and you can see more white boards with doors in them on the left. The rest of the Central Walk Tunnel is immediately behind this. This passageway was in use until very recently. You can see the doors to the old suburban tunnel on the left. Just like at the new Chalmers Street entrance, the ceiling is currently one huge cable management system. As you know from my last update, the escalators on the south side of platforms 16 to 23 are now complete. So I'll show you how the escalators on the north side are progressing. These are the escalators for platforms 22 and 23, and they look pretty much finished, as do the escalators for platforms 20 and 21. It's now possible to get a good view of the Platforms 18 and 19 North Escalators from a gap in the hoardings, with some of the escalator steps now in place. And the Platform 16 and 17 North Escalators are now visible for the first time. Here is another glimpse of one of them from the other side. I'm now at the south end of Platform 16 and 17 and the canopies for the new Platforms 13 and 14 and the existing Platform 12 look pretty much finished, except for a few cables dangling down. And the two new escalators on the south side of Platforms 12 and 13 are now clearly visible. As are the two escalators for the north side of these platforms. And the lift mechanism is now visible within the lift shaft for the new Platform 14 lift. So you've just seen these two sets of escalators for platforms 12 and 13 and the lift for platform 14. Coming up next is some on-train footage that will show you how the platforms themselves are progressing along with the platform 14 escalators. 
This was on the 10th of August, and at that time, part of the future trackbed and platform was visible, but a good chunk was covered over, and a further part had a large hole to access the metro concourse below. I'm not sure what is over this hole, so I'm going to call it orange scaffolding. I'm sure someone will give me the correct name in the comments. Then after this is more of the new trackbed and platforms, which run all the way to where the buffer stops will be. Now three weeks later on the 30th of August, and much more of the track bed and platforms are now visible. Part of the orange scaffolding is still there, but it looks like the hole has been filled. And this is how the two escalators on the south side of platform 14 looked on the 30th of August. If you look closely, you can see some of the steps. And now the orange scaffolding with a floor below it. And this is how the track bed and platforms looked from the northern concourse lift on the 30th of August. This is a month later on the 29th of September, and you can now see one continuous track bed with the edge of platform 13 clearly visible. And all the escalator steps have now gone in. Looking back towards the south, and you can see a yellow protective covering over the track bed. Now continuing, and you can see some ballast for the future tracks. So this means that track laying will probably happen quite soon. I filmed this from a number of different trains, sitting in different cars each time, which is why this train appears to keep slowing down and stopping. So now slowing down one final time for the two north escalators for platform 14, which are coming into view now. These also have all the steps in place. And some of the railings as well, along with the rubber rail covers laying on the steps. This is the view from the northern concourse lift as it looked on the 16th of October. Below the grey covers might be the bottom ballast, but I'm not sure. What do you think? The ballast that you saw from the train is over here. Here is another glimpse of the platforms 12 and 13 escalators that are over on the right. And if you look closely, you can just about see one of the south escalators for platform 14. Here is a view of platform 14, which now runs all the way to the ventilation and services building at the other end. Behind me is the new metro concourse, let's see how this is progressing. There is a good view from these stairs, but let's see if I can peer in through the hoardings on the right. A new temporary passageway is currently being built that will link to Central Walk. This is now covering up the ceiling and the side walls that were visible back in August. Notice the markings on the floor of this passageway. The wall on the right and the ceiling are now looking a lot more finished than they were just two months ago. The stairs to access this passageway, and in future the metro concourse, are here, with step-free access also via the two lifts on the left. So we will have these stairs, and probably one of the two lifts, leading to a passageway that goes to Central Walk. On the other side of the two lifts, are another set of stairs that will lead to the metro concourse. All the restoration work on the Central Electric building now looks complete, with all the tiling on the supporting bridge-like structure now finished. Most passengers coming through the ticket gates will be totally unaware of the impressive building that they are walking under. Now there is a big, bold and controversial plan to radically change this side of Central Station, and I'll come back to this briefly later. However, there is another development already underway, and that is what these blue hoardings in the distance are for. And this development involves the demolition of the YHA building, which is currently in progress. This is how it used to look. And alongside Platform 1, some blue hoardings have appeared. And this was where the YHA carriages used to be. The hoardings are too high to see what might be behind them, so I don't know whether the carriages are still there or not. And if not, what has happened to them? If you know, do share this in the comments below. The demolition of the YHA building will allow this new 40-storey Atlassian office tower to be built. This is the white building in this image. The YHA will get a replacement hostel with 480 beds within this building. The new Atlassian building will be behind and to the left of this former Parcels office building. This is heritage listed and was occupied by the Adina Hotel. This building is having a makeover courtesy of a development called Toga Central. This will include a hotel, restaurants, retail and office space. And to the right of this building is Henry Dean Plaza, which includes these food and beverage outlets within this former Parcels office building. Another tall building will be constructed at the front of the Henry Dean Plaza, but the plaza itself will be retained as part of this development. This development is the reason for the closure of these shops on the south side of this plaza. 
So in the future, you will see the Atlassian Tower on the left as you approach the Devonshire Street Tunnel. And I believe an upgrade to this tunnel will be included as part of these developments, but I'm not sure what it will involve. Now this much bigger redevelopment that hit the news in September 2022 will effectively put a roof above all the platforms with offices, homes and a public plaza sitting on top. So these canopies will go and Central Walk will be extended to cover platforms 1 to 11. This redevelopment could take up to 20 years to complete, so plenty of time to enjoy Central Station as it currently is and remember how it used to be, with trains from years gone by such as this 86-class electric loco that is owned by the Sydney Electric Train Society. And this 49-class loco owned by Transport Heritage New South Wales. Or this CPH rail motor that dates back to the 1920s. This is owned by the Rail Motor Society in Paterson. These were in service until the early 1980s. Now for some steam locos, starting with this C32 class that was built in England in 1902. And that was 3526 behind it, which is the only C35 class that still works. Apparently they were known as nannies or naughty nannies. This was all part of the Transport Heritage Expo that took place over the October public holiday weekend. And on the rear you'll soon see 3801, which has been to Perth, Alice Springs, Brisbane, but had never made it over the Sydney Harbour Bridge until the weekend before. Now arriving is 45 class loco 4501. This is one of 40 that were built in the early 1960s. I believe 4532, which is owned by Southern Shortall Railroad, is still in service today. And finally, Red Rattler Set F1 that was built in 1927. So I hope you enjoyed this Central Station update covering the very new and also the very old. If you did, do give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, do leave a comment or question below, subscribe if you haven't done so, and also click that bell, that way you get the notifications when I release future videos. Also consider supporting me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. One of the perks is that you get access to these videos two days before everyone else. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.